Hi, Valder. How are you? Hi, I am wonderful. Who do I have this morning? This is Ben Glebe. Hi, Ben. Thank you so very much for joining us. I want to let my audience know we get to talk about the idiot test today with Ben Glebe. Hey, Ben, how's that show going for you? It's going great. It, it, we already filmed it, and it went smoothly. I'm very excited. It's in the can. I'm ready to show it to people. It premieres tomorrow night, uh, August 12th at, uh, eight, nine, at 9, 8 Central. So I look forward to people getting a chance to see it. Well, you're going to be on the Game Show Network now. This is quite different from seeing you on Chelsea Handler. You know, you've got this show called The Idiot Test. How do you translate those questions, which seem to be so different, into what we want to know? How do you do that? Well, basically, you know, it's not too hard. I feel like people have gotten to know me for um, hopefully my my sense of humor and my ability to make fun of celebrities who are asking for it by being very stupid individuals most of the time. And then Chelsea has then flipped the tables on me and called me an idiot in thousands of different ways over the last seven years. So I'm ready to take it to the next level, to pay it forward, as Haley Joel Osment and Kevin Spacey taught us in that movie, and make fun of other people, normal, non-famous people, who are unsuspecting and probably don't deserve it. I think it's time for that to happen. Okay, is it going to be, oh, what I want to say, eh, kind of nice? Uh, you know, because, like, I was watching something else, and, you know, like, okay, like, example, Candy Camera, they've been doing this for a long time, kind of, in a sense, what they do. But they've never been mean, and, and, and they've never been malicious to the subject. Will this be the same, or will this be something different for the 21st century? <laughs> I think it's somewhere in the middle. I'm definitely not not mean or, or or malicious at all when I joke around with people, but I definitely like to point out when they got things wrong, and in a playful way, make them feel pretty dumb for not seeing obvious answers. If it's a hard question and they get it wrong, I'm not going to be mean just for mean's sake, but if somebody was boneheaded and literally did not see something staring them right in the face, I will point it out, and I will point it out in a way where people laugh at them. So somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle, Valder. Somewhere in the middle. Okay, I can't wait to watch this because if people can kind of survive it, I think that's a good, it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's a very interesting kind of addictive game to play along with people. The, the audience gets to play the first idiot test in the first five seconds of the show. And it's just great visual puzzles. It's really lighthearted, but it's an out-of-the-box kind of, of game show because usually game shows just test your knowledge of trivia. And you either know the fact or you don't. But here, you get to play along and actually solve it as the contestants try to solve it themselves. So it really is engaging to play. You can play with your friends or family, see if maybe they're idiots. So it's good to find out, you know, who you're hanging out with and um, see how you do yourself. Well, Esquire Magazine believes in you because they name you one of the six top comedians or the next big thing, something they gave you a great title. That is true. That was very nice of them. I'm still paying off the bribe payments to the Esquire writer and uh, hoping that eventually I'm out of that debt because it has been very expensive. Um, no, I was honored. I was honored when they called me that. That was sweet. That's okay. That's okay. You're you're really funny. Can you keep the funny season after season if they renew your season after season? Absolutely. Wouldn't it be funny if I said, nope, we got one season in us and then we're done? Um, I definitely think we can keep the funny going. I've been touring as a stand-up comedian for 14 years, improvising with people and making funny happen. And our team of writers that came up with all of our tests are brilliant and come up with very interesting creative out-of-the-box questions over and over again for 40 episodes like it was nothing. So we could easily do about 10, 15 seasons. After 15 seasons, maybe you got a point. Then I think maybe we should probably slow down and, and, and hang up the hat. But I think we're good till about 2030. Okay, okay. So we buy into it, Ben Glee. I want to thank you, and we think you're brilliant also, too. When do you want us to watch? You're a sweetheart. Thank you, Valder. Uh, Idiot Test premieres on Game Show Network tomorrow night, August 12th at 9 8 Central. Tune in and see how you do. Two back-to-back -back episodes premiering. All right. Thank you so much. I'll be glued to my set because I know you're going to be funny. Thank you so much, Ben Glee. You're a sweetheart. Take care.